sweetie. Uh, where's your mom? I want you to know I took her. I call her daughter. You want to call your daughter? I dress set up in my house for the whole week. Okay? We were trying to find a steamer and we are trying all these different tricks and she really didn't want to steam it. She didn't want to mess up the fabric. So she wanted me to do this whole thing. Well, we won't go into that. But now I'm going to have the best man to come up. I want to say also to the mother of the groom. He, you did well. You and your husband did well. He is awesome. Um, and I'm just excited. I'm, I'm looking for more children. Clap, 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 clap. There you go, Brian. Okay. There you go, Brian. Okay, all right. But yeah, this is awesome. Okay? Best man. Words of encouragement, affirmation. Um, instead of the toast, we just want to share heart to heart. <laughs> Just wanted to take the time to thank God for everybody to be here because I know this is a big day for Brian and Elizabeth and um, you know I just want to say you know Brian you know to the groom I love you you know my little brother you know I know you're a grown man but you always be a little dear to me so you know been through everything from you know just growing up together sharing rooms you know playing video games every Saturday you know. Uh, yeah, every day. <laughs> Not just weekends, every day. Um, you know, Elizabeth, you know, beautiful bride, you know. I give it up for the bride. She's beautiful, y'all. Um, you know, I'm happy for both of y'all. It's, it's, it's a lot to be up here to just say all this. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Just, <sighs> I'm, I'm trying not to. Honestly, I'm really trying not to. Man. I'm, I'm just happy for both of y'all. And, you know, y'all setting an example, honestly, for me. Because, you know, one day I'm going to get there, too. And I just, you know, seeing y'all up there, you know, seeing you cry and everything like that, and, you know, got me, too, a little bit. Because I'm like, my little brother actually getting married. I'm right here to see this. Like, it's just a big thing. So, you know. Congratulations to y'all, and you know, much success. There's plenty of success, um, and um, I love you too. Yeah, well, yeah I love him. Love you too, though, cousin. Yeah. You know, um, what I'm planning. You know, you did it, Logan. You knocked it out. Everybody look good. You know, everybody look nice. You know? Oh, she want me to stop talking now, so no, I'm gonna stop you, talking. No, you can stop talking. <laughs> That's what this is about. Yeah, Brian, thank you for being a big inspiration in my life like i mean that just thank you for everything just for just having my back always catching me when i slip you know thank you now, that means a lot to me man like you know honestly you i say it all the time i feel like out of the both of us you always been the better brother since day one and i thank you for being a, just a great example of a, a young black man like honestly you know if you really want to get into it you know i thank you you know, and I always tell my kids, you know, they always say they want to be like me. I said, no, be like your Uncle Brian. <laughs> be like Uncle B, you know. I tell them all the time, I say, y'all want to be cool like Uncle B. I use you, I reference you in just about everything that I say. I tell all my friends about you. That's why I'm constantly always posting on Facebook about something. Whether it's a, a comic book reference or a game reference or something, because, you know, you just, you've been there, you know. Since the first day, I remember when mommy said she was, you know, pregnant, she was having a, a, a boy, and I was like, I, I think I jumped off the balcony. Like, I was just that happy. <laughs> so, yeah. I, 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 I probably was like that. Yeah, we was on the second floor. I probably just jumped off the balcony and screamed, I got a little brother coming. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, congratulations to both of you. I'm just that dude, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, even though I've known Elizabeth for about a year, um, She's just like like Logan was saying. She's graceful. She's funny. She's witty. She knows how to put her foot down. So what a match you two are for each other. Um, and I wish the best for both of you. And I know that you guys are going to live an awesome, blessed, prosperous life. And your marriage is going to be a blessing to so many people and a, a great example to so many people. Um, so be proud of yourselves right now for that because I just see that for you guys. And um, I know Brian's wife, his idea of who he wanted to marry, even like, you know, from a couple years ago of knowing him, he took that very seriously. 
he didn't just date around just to date around like wh whoever he wanted his wife to be he he had that image of who he wanted and I definitely think that he found that within Elizabeth um, so I mean what an amazing I'm just so happy for you guys so um, congratulations and when there's times where you feel like you're frustrated just remember this moment and remember today and let that carry you through um, the highs and the lows so just keep God first and continue to grow and change and be all who you're meant to be for each other. So. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you, Adrian. Hi, guys. My name is Denasia. Um, I'm Liz's best friend. That's what my title is. But <laughs> I just want to say first, thank you, God. Thank you, God because I've been through it with Liz and um, she's just grown so much. And thank you, Brian, yeah. for um, for just sticking by her side. Cause you know, I just seen it from the outside and I just seen how much she's grown. Yeah. And it's real. It is. It's real. It is, y'all. Yeah, it's so real. And um, I just want to say thank you for letting me be a part of this. Because yeah. we see so much of each other's lives, the good and the bad, you know, birthing of babies. Like, we just really been there. And it's never going to stop. Because, you know, God puts people in place, whether it's friends, husbands. God knows what he's doing. He puts people in places for um, very particular reasons. And I'm just so happy. Like, my heart is so happy. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. All right, so uh, I heard the rest of them speaking. I thought we were doing a roast, so I had to speak <laughs> up last minute and uh, <laughs> think of something else to say. But I uh, know Brian's been uh, my best friend. Uh, we actually started off uh, as business partners, um, but it's turned into a really great friendship. A bromance. A bromance. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I'll keep it short. I just want to say congratulations. And uh, Elizabeth, you make him happy. So I'm happy for the both of y'all. And uh, I'm thankful to be a part of this day. Uh, I'm thankful to know you. And, you know, this is a pretty small crowd. So I'm glad that I made the cut and uh, <laughs> I'm one of your top 50. So, that's all. Thank you. Love you. Love you too, man. Any? Yeah, Jay. I'm also gonna keep it short. Uh, I've known Brian for like what? Years, man. Yeah. Almost a decade. Yeah. And I've got to see him grow as a person and just become the man he is today and become a better man. And uh, he, Elizabeth, you make him happy. I haven't known you for too long, but he talks about you with the highest esteem. And, Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, dang. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Great, I just want to tell y'all that I wish y'all happiness and blessings. And thank you, Brian, because you helped her grow so much. And I knew you was the one for her when she came to me crying. She's very stubborn, and nothing gets to her. So, congratulations. Thank you, Curry. Thank you, Curry. Don't be telling people. Hi, Brian. Hey, Hi, Elizabeth. I'm so proud of you guys. Um, I just want to tell you all that I love you and a family that stays together, pray together. I mean, a family that prays together, stays together. Either way. Either way. Either way. That's right. And um, always put God first and everything else will fall in line. Thank you, Mom. All right. Thank you. Thank Good evening, everyone. I'm Seth. Um, I've known Brian for about five years now, and uh, just the same story, really. I, I saw I saw Brian go from you know a Kroger cashier to you know making a, a good living for himself and being able to provide for our family now, and and uh, to, you got, you're looking at two very successful people who've got the brightest of futures ahead. And uh, I'm excited to be a part of that and to have witnessed that. And, uh, 
you know, coming from a guy who, you know, wasn't even excited to even get a car one day to yeah. doing what he's doing now. And, and, you know, I mean, even from, you know, even the way you look now, it's, it's completely different from when I, when I met you. And, uh, you know, I'm super proud of you. I'm proud of you both. Um, you guys, believe it or not, have added value to Adrian and I, our lives. Um, tremendous value. You know, we're blessed to know you both. And uh, proud to be a part of your lives. So Thank you, sir. If you need anything, you know, to come to us, yeah. we've got you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I just want to say, man, after everything, yo, man, I'm proud of y'all, man. It, it really brought me to tears today to see this, man. It's like, it's nothing but God, man. It's nothing, it's nothing but God when you have two people coming together, man. And it's such a blessing that is you two, my sister and my brother-in-law. And I remember, I seen it, I seen it on your heart right after me and my wife got married. Yeah. And I knew from there, man, that you, man, you always talked about God. We always had deep conversations about how God do things, man. And the number one thing, man, as long as you got him, yo, mm -hmm. that's all that matters, man. Yeah. You got him, you're my sister, you know, y'all gonna make it a long ways, man. Yeah. You know, like me and my wife always talk about, you know, marriage, man, it's a beautiful thing when you got God. Man. It is. You know, it is. You make it through. You might have some situations, but man, with God, you can do everything. You can do all things. Yeah. You know? So, I, I, like I said, I, I honor this. It's an honor to be here, and I'm glad y'all blessed and highly favored. And I'm just glad y'all could come together and, you know, family, friends. It's a blessing. So I want to say thanks, man, and congratulations, man. I love y'all. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Love you. Hey, Brian. Hey, Elizabeth. Mama, now. Congratulations. And I love you all. I love you too. This is awesome. Amen. Amen. <laughs> uh, hey, y'all. Um, I just want to first thank, thank God and for all the wonderful things that all of you, you know, just said. And I just want to give it all to God for real. From where I came from, from where she's came from, we give all the honor and glory to God because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't we wouldn't be this way. We wouldn't be married right now. So seriously, like it's it's like that. If it wasn't for God's grace, we wouldn't be together right now. So I thank God for that. And I thank God for giving me the obedience to listen to him to do what's right. I'm 24 years old, she's 21, and we're getting married, and we plan on staying together forever till we die, together, so, um, yeah, thank you for that, and, uh, um, Anthony, you're, you're a wonderful man, thank you for being my best man, man, uh, we've, we've been through a lot together, uh, you were there during the dark times, man, when it was just, like, dark, really, really dark, man, you, you, yeah, you getting some too, <laughs> um, um, during the dark times, man, you were there for me and Brianna when we didn't have anybody, man. You you risked your 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 safety and your your freedom to take care of me and Brianna when we were younger. Thank you. And uh, Brianna, I might as well get to you now. Thank you for uh, thank you for just you know everything you do. Thank you for being a wonderful sister. And um, me and Elizabeth plan to do a lot of things with our kids and your kids too, because you got a lot of them now too. So we plan to do wonderful things. <laughs> we plan to do wonderful things with your kids and our kids uh, also. And um, Seth, thank you. Adrian, thank you. Seth, if it wasn't for you, man. I wouldn't be the man that I am today. Seriously, man, if, if, I, if it wasn't for you coming into my life, I wouldn't be the man I am today. So I just thank you, man. Thank you a lot. Um, me and Adrian, well, me, me and Elizabeth and you and Adrian, they got a, a child coming up and, you know, 
our sons are going to go diamond together, man. We're going to definitely go diamond together. We're going to do big things and great things is going to happen. Um, G, thank you for just being there, man. Being there during the lonely times, dude. As a, as a just, just lonely times, man. We 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 done so much together, man. Like you you came into my life and just changed it, man, and just made me put some happiness there. Um, I can't wait to do great things with you and your family. Also, man, thank you, um, Danny. <laughs> Danny, you, you play a you play a, a huge part, man. A huge part. Like I was saying last night to y'all, man, it there were times where I didn't feel like doing things for my family, and he did it. And I thank you for that, and you're still around. Thank you for that. Um I was I used to run with someone that just wasn't really good for me, but I chose the good path. I was hanging out with both of those guys and I I chose the good path to run with him and he led me to a lot of good um people in my life. Denasia, when I was sit standing up there, I saw you crying and I was looking at you and it made me cry even more because you were there for her. You were there with her. In the, it was dark and just thank you for just making it together. Just thank you for being a great friend to her and just just thank you for just sticking by her. Carrie. You're awesome. You're awesome. Me and Elizabeth talk about you all the time and just how much you just help us. Y'all she she watches Jace. She's our babysitter and she doesn't charge as much at all to just watch him because she loves him and she does so much for us you too newt <laughs> we thank you for you too but carrie thank you so much my mama my father thank you for y'all we appreciate i appreciate you my grandmother i don't know if she's still here she don't like to drive in the dark she's probably gone um because she's here she ain't my grandmother that I, I grew up with, I don't know where I'd be if it, was for, if it wasn't for her coming into my life. Um, I thank you. And my grandmother, Ma, thank you for giving me the most beautiful, most graceful, most awesome mother in the world. Like, people cling to you, Ma. Where you at? You right here. Mom, thank you for giving me her. I appreciate that. Um, I ain't gonna sit up here and talk, baby. You can go ahead because I can go all day. Oh, all right. I know. I'm going down there. Raise your hand if you wanna go first. No. All right, I'm gonna start. Let's start with... I'm sorry. Brian, thank you for being the man that you are. For you to just come into my life and be, you know, so willing to just jump into that role of, you know, being a husband and also being a father is just amazing to me. I never once, you know, doubt that you love, you know, my, my our son now, but that you love Jace just as if, you know, he was your own. And that is something that I prayed for. You know, like after having a baby so young and I just, I just didn't think that I was worthy of, of getting, you know, married. And I didn't think that God had so many blessings in store for me. But all I did was trust God. And 
and you just you just showed up. All I did was trust him, and I just prayed, and I just did what was on my heart. I mean, everybody thought, you know, I was crazy for you know having a son that young and choosing to step into the role to be a single mom because I knew that I was gonna be a single mom, but I just knew that God had great things in store for me, and you definitely were the best thing that God could have you know gave to me, and you are living proof that God forgives. You are living proof that God will bless you as long as you keep him first, as long as you trust him. You are living proof that God loves me. When he put you into my life, I just, I knew it was something different. When I met you, I knew I was going to marry you, but I didn't know, you know, why I thought that. I didn't know how. Maybe I was just imagining, but it's, it happened. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You know, like you, you really, you really changed me. You know, well, then I met you. You were so into God, and I was like, I'm not gonna date nobody, and they know more about God than me. You know, so I instantly, I was like, he started talking about some things that I don't want to get into as far as like Jesus and God, and I wasn't aware of it. And then one day, it just made me realize that. Sometimes I just have to be humble and just admit when I'm wrong. And you have definitely taught me how to just grow, how to be comfortable in my own skin. I never once thought that you don't look at me as the most beautiful girl in the world. You make me feel that way. I used to, you know, wear makeup all the time. And now it's like, I just don't, I don't feel like I need it because of the way that you love me. You make me feel like I'm just a superstar. And thank you. And I just want to move to my mom next. Mom, you've been there for me since forever. You know, like you always used to, we used to argue and, and bump heads, but it's like I wouldn't be the person I am today if it wasn't for your strength. You know, if it wasn't for you being the mother that you are, taking initiative and just just being a, being a strong mother. We may not agree on everything, but you've always been there for me. You know, you've always came to my rescue no matter what and i appreciate that and i you have so much strength and i can't wait till i'm at one day when i'm at your wedding because i know it's gonna come i pray for that every day Woo. um my dad you know i love my dad so much i pray for him every single day i know he's a little crazy don't don't tell him i say that but i love my dad so much and he's an amazing man he has the kindest heart he's so forgiving and I just love that he put his, you know, talkative spirit in me because I can talk for days. But I want to move next to Carrie. I've known you for 10 years now, and it's it's amazing. You know, even though we've grown and we like different things, we may be into different stuff, but it's like we've always kept that connection. And you, for you to be watching, you know, Jace for what you watch him for is such a blessing. You know, it really does help us. And you take care of him so well. And I know that you love him and I would not want him to be anywhere else but with you. And we've just been to him so much, you know, like I've watched, we've watched each other grow. You know, I've watched you grow as well. And I just really do appreciate you. And you really are um, one of my closest friends. And we, I feel like we're gonna have this friendship for the rest of our life. And then I can go to Denasia. We have, you know, been through a lot together, like a lot. And, you know, to see that we both have over overcame and just trusted God and just knew that he had something better. And so we didn't know when, but we just knew that he had something better for our lives. All we did was follow him. And, and now, you know, look at us, you know, we're moms, we're, you're about to be a, a wife, so we're wives, sister wives. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But it's just... It's just a good thing to, to know you, you know, like you've helped me grow. You've inspired me in ways. We bump heads, you know, we like a lot of the same stuff. And I do appreciate you because you've played a part in my growth as well. And I can't deny that. But I also want to move over to Adrian. When I, you know, I met Adrian, she, she was someone that I really, really looked up to, you know, like just to... I was always in the mindset of, oh, I don't like females. I don't want to be around girls. And then I met her, and she was just so pleasurable to, to be around. She was just so 
kind-hearted and you can just sense that on her and it just inspired me to want to be a better woman and I, I do look up to her you know she's like a, a big sister to me because she's all hey she's always positive and she, I can talk about anything negative in the world and she'll always find a way to turn it positive sometimes it's you get on my nerves because I can't come up with no more excuses but but she's amazing and she's so beautiful and I wish the best blessings for her and Seth's her and Seth's um, child that will be here, you know, soon. And then I want to, you know, shout out to my friend Tori. Um, I met her on Twitter. You know, don't say you can't meet friends online because you can. But I, I love you, you know, and I know you may have like a rough patch right now, but God has so much in store for you. You just have to trust him. You know, like you, you're so beautiful. You're so kind and you're really positive and your day is definitely going to come because you deserve it. You know, you are definitely a bride and your day is definitely going to come. And I really do love my whole support system for just being here. And the last person, then I'm going to give this mic up because I know I'm over the limit. But I want to, you know, shout out to my brother and um, his wife. When they got married, you know, it just it opened me and Brian's eyes. We knew at that point we was like, we got to get married. You know, when y'all told us that it was a God thing, we just was like, wow, that's so inspiring. And I've watched Bullet grow. At one point, he outgrew, you know, he outgrew me, and I didn't expect him to do that, so I just tried to catch up. But he's an inspiration, even though he's younger than me, but he's a true man of God. He used to be in the room, laying down on the floor, meditating to music, and I didn't know what was going on, but that's what you call just having a love for Jesus. And I can see that all over you and you have great things coming in your life. You, your beautiful wife and, and your son that will be here soon. And thank you Marcelina for being the God instead my brother need, needs and keeping his head on straight. But that wasn't the last person. I wanna thank Chad and April. You know, they came into our lives and they have been a blessing. You know, we found a church home coming to their church and for them to come out and help us and just be so willing, we've only known them for about three or four months, but just for them to be so willing to just jump on and help us with this wedding is amazing. You know, they are true givers. They're, you know, they're servers and they're true people of God and they love. I can tell by everything that they do that they are lovers and they, they try to do everything they can to just show people that Jesus is real and he does love and they, they exude that love through themselves and thank you for being you know our friends and you know our pastors and you want this back thank you logan for um doing all this putting yeah. this together it was it was a smooth but rough time trying to get this thing together in such a short time we went back and forth trying to you know plan a wedding and we just couldn't find you know the right thing you know to do she even tried to plan it herself but she met logan at this venue right here and that's how things got started and thank you so much logan for just you know being being a server to us and putting this together it's really beautiful thank you and uh thank you for the the photographers uh for coming out doing this thing uh omar alfonso vernon wherever you at um but yeah thank you thank you so much for doing this because you guys are important because people are going to be able to see this in the future. So thank you, because the future, our kids and everybody will be able to see this because of you and just the amazing things you guys did today with us. And uh, thank you, my Uncle Mark, for being on the DJ, um, being the DJ for us tonight and just, you know, doing he, you know, do he didn't charge us at all. He just came out and he did this thing for us. And just thank you a lot, man. I love you a lot, man. Um, and, and thank you for everybody else for coming out um, for this and for this moment to uh, be with us. So thank you so much. You want to say something, Uncle Frankie? Come on, my man. I love you a lot, man. This dude help us move to, uh, help us move in our uh, new apartment, um, and he did his thing, man. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, time you grow up sometime, boy. Look, this is my nephew right here. Y'all know this, right? But he grew up to be a real strong man. Because a lot of these young cats like you don't get this far. I'm proud of you for that. And you keep doing what you're doing.
Appreciate it. We all good. Thank y'all for coming out. I'll let Logan close. Thank you. Y'all amazing. Woo! He want to preach. <laughs> Got some preaching in him. So, um, yeah, just thank everybody. It's, I know it's a little bit different of a reception, um, but those words that you spoke to them will take them through eternity. When they down, they're going to think about your words. So I really appreciate that.